What if I told you, you could pretty much skip pre-hard mode with Ranger using this broken loadout? We know that the Desert Prowler armor got a rework in the latest Calamity update. It is usually the first armor set for Rangers in a Calamity playthrough, and requires some pretty basic ingredients, like Desert Feathers, some Vultures, and some Silk. Instead of spawning tornadoes on ranged critical hits, you are now able to cloak yourself. While you are cloaked, you gain movement speed at the cost of defense, and the broken part about this set, you gain a super crit for 200% of your damage. For this loadout, I only used pre-boss accessories just to show you how crazy this loadout truly is. We have the Pumpler, which was actually nerfed in this update, but still remains the best pre-boss weapon. I found that shotguns or heavy single target range weapons work the best as they gain the most benefit from the super crit. While I show you some gameplay of me just completely balancing on these bosses, let me explain how the strategy works. You want to fully charge your adrenaline meter and pre-charge your pumpler as it takes a bit of time to charge. And once it is fully charged, deactivate your adrenaline, use your desert prowler set bonus and release your pumpler damage. It works best if you are really close to the boss as you gain extra point blank damage and all the pumpler bullets have a greater chance of hitting the boss. Now, there are some limitations to this loadout, which include dodging bosses until you get full adrenaline, and also the cooldown of the armor set. However, something that I didn't mention earlier was that it's extra effect, which upon killing an enemy with the super crit, reduces the cooldown by 1.5 seconds. This means that bosses such as the Eye of Cthulhu, Hive Mine, Slime God, Wall of Flesh, are pretty much free as this loadout as they have a lot of summons. Truly perfectly balanced. And if this gets nerfed, we can all blame Riot Games. That's it for now, goodbye.